Supercar Street Racing. I was so excited to show you guys these carbon fiber seat rails, and then this happened. Go. Go, bakery. Go, bakery. Go, bakery. Go, bakery. Is this your cheer? Are you a cheerleader? Why wouldn't I? Are you trying to be a cheerleader? Well, I am a cheerleader. Oh, you are one. You're not trying to be one. Do you? Do the gritty. Okay guys, it is the next day and they have shipped me out a brand new set of seat rail covers and here they are right out of the box looking much better than the last set and actually the last set also had a defect on the small rail, very small but you could still see it. So basically in order to install these you have some 3M double sided tape there. So what we will want to do is prep the seat rails first with some brake clean and then peel off these and push them on the cart. So let's go do that now. Let's go prep the seat rails for the carbon fiber seat rail cover install. Alright, here is the first rail. We got our brake cleaner right here. Put that on the rag. And just wiping off. Whatever possible dressing or anything else that could be on there. Simple. Now we have our carbon fiber seat rail covers here. And this one goes on like this. Just like that. It kind of clicks on, so let's Get the 3M tape off if we can. Kind of difficult. Boy, that's really tough to get. That is really hard. That's what she said.
I mean like really hard. I have a little bit of fingernails. Doesn't help that these are trash. absolutely ridiculous. One more. Why don't they have the ones that split down the middle? All right, that one was a little easier. All right, now we've got the sticky tape off, finally. Oh man, that sucked. So we are just going to pop this on there and push it. And hold it. Keep some pressure on it for a minute. So it does not cover all the way over the seat rail. And it is all the way on. It does not cover the whole rail. And it's pushed all the way on. Huh. This side is a little bit gnarled up too. So yeah, so that's what it looks like installed. It does not cover the whole plastic. So if you're expecting it to, too bad. Not wide enough to cover the seat. Alright, round two of trying to peel off sticky tape. Oh man, this stuff is going to drive me insane. You guys see how hard this is to get off? literally kicking my butt. Okay, I got one edge up out of three. Please somebody tell me I'm doing this wrong. All right, I got two out of three edges. Oh, that one was forgiving to me. Okay, there goes the other one. Again, it doesn't cover the whole seat rail. So, you can see right here on the inside, it does not cover the whole rail, which is kind of disappointing. But they are there. So yeah, overall, they're okay, um, but, but that, you see that? It doesn't cover most of the rail. Does on top, but not on bottom. All they had to do was make that a little bit wider. 
Hey guys, welcome back. And I wanted to just go over with you guys my Amazon shopping cart here for the upcoming audio install on the cart. And starting at the top of the list here in the shopping cart, we have the Invertec 500 watt power inverter. Now what this is going to do is going to allow me to actually hardwire a AC from DC to AC converter into the cart and then have outlets available to plug in standard uh, 110 volt items and what I'll end up doing is probably mounting a actual house receptacle like ones in the walls on the actual cart and run the power from these uh, plugs here so that is part of the list Next up on the list, we have polyfill. Now this is actually for the inside of the speaker enclosure and this dampens the speaker enclosure and it's also gonna go in the dash behind the six and a half inch component speakers. Next we have some Velcro here for holding various things on like the Bluetooth adapter I'm going to be using to feed the amplifier and I will show you that Bluetooth adapter separately. I already own it so it's not in my shopping cart at this point. Probably don't need this anymore because the inverter has a USB outlet on it, but this was going to be to power the Bluetooth adapter for receiving uh, Bluetooth audio from the tablet in the cart. So what this is for is these two RCA splitters connect to the output of the, I'll just go ahead and show you the Bluetooth adapter. So Bluetooth adapter. And it's actually this one. Now if you notice here, it's got RCA outputs. We're feeding both a front channel full range and we're gonna feed a subwoofer input as well. So we're gonna come off of this Bluetooth adapter with these Y adapters here and feed the inputs to the amplifier. One set to the front channel, one set to the subwoofer channels. Here we have some crimp, a crimping tool with some heat shrink connectors. I will need plenty of those for the power connections to 12 volts. Now these are terminal blocks for distributing power. Once we go from 48 volts, which the golf cart batteries produce, and we uh, drop that down to 12 volts for all of our equipment in the cart, we will want a place to connect power and ground. And that's what all these are for. This will connect to the output of the 12 volt down converter, so to speak. Voltage reducer is what it's actually called. Now we have our front speakers. These are the Infinity Reference 6530CX. And they look like this. Um, these will go in the front on the dash, in the speaker pods on the dash. And they have little tweeters here that I'm going to attempt to flush mount if I can find someplace big enough to put them. If not, they will surface mount somewhere. Let's hope. I haven't taken a good look at the dash, but we should have enough area available. Now we have our box. So this box is actually going to fit in the back of the golf cart between, so where people sit in the back and hang their feet down, there is a, there's a uh, spot there for just storage and this seems to fit perfectly it will just hang over a couple of inches but that's okay it's not going to get in the way of anything it'll hang over towards the back of the cart but it won't get in people's way it's uh, going to hold a single 12 inch woofer and we will stuff that with polyfill that I showed you earlier here we have our woofer this is the scar audio and this is a dual ohm dual 4 ohm uh, voice coil woofer so meaning it has two voice coils you can see one voice coil there, one voice coil there. Those are four ohms. When you parallel these two voice coils, you get a two ohm load on the amplifier. And that is what we want. We have a mono channel on the amplifier. So we're gonna load it with two ohms, which it is safe at two ohms. Here is our voltage reducer. This is going to take our 48 volts from the golf cart batteries. And it is going to produce 12 volts and the only bad thing about these are they are not switched. So I am using a master on off switch, which is in the list somewhere. Here is a good collection of wire connectors for connecting to the battery. 
So they have the copper connectors and they have the heat shrink tubing to go over them and then you crimp the end on or solder it in. I don't have a, a torch to be soldering so I will most likely crimp and then heat shrink the ends on. Here's our battery disconnect switch. I'm gonna use this from the output of the um, 48 volt to 12 volt reducer. I'm going to be able to switch off our 12 volt accessories with this one switch. So um, this will actually go before the 12 volt reducer and we'll switch off 48 volts into the 48 volt to 12 volt reducer. Then out of the reducer we'll feed our terminals here. This is just a cable loom, so this will dress up all the cabling and make it look really nice. So we have two sets of those here, one one inch wide and one half inch wide. I'm not sure if that will work, but that is what we have now. So that's a look at what is being ordered tomorrow, and then we will start on the audio part of the golf cart. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to Supercar Street Racing.